with the upcoming festive season there are sale discounts and cashback offers all around us other than these both offline and online retailers are coming out with emi offers that is equated monthly installment offers and buy now pay later schemes these schemes are advertised as no cost zero cost buy now pay later but they have hidden costs associated let us look at how the zero cost emi schemes work these schemes allow the borrower to pay the cost of the product in easy installments there are two options in which this is possible first either you forgo the discount that they would have offered you if you had paid the full amount up front instead the companies pay this amount to the bank or financial institution to cover the interest cost the second option is where the interest cost is added to the price of the product itself so in these schemes the hidden charges are in the form of lower or no discount as compared to when you have made the purchase by paying the full amount up front also gst which is levied on the interest cost is to be borne by the customer let us look at an example where the customer buys an led tv worth 60000 rupees now the same is being converted into emis for 12 months so the mrp of the product is 60000 but uh, and which is divided into emis for 12 months so each month the customer would be paying 5000 rupees but in reality if he had opted to pay the full amount up front they would have got a discount of say approximately 10% on the led tv so the discounted price would actually have been only 54000 instead because of taking up the emi scheme the customer pays 60000 and hence the total interest that is being paid in this case would be the differential between 60 and 54000 that is 6000 so that is the discount which was offered is being foregone if you go in for the emi schemes what happens in the buy now pay later schemes these schemes work like a digital credit card where the customer can purchase specific products and the emi for this they start paying after a certain period a certain credit limit is sanctioned to the customer based on their credit profile so as and when you avail of more credit the sanctioned credit limit keeps coming down no interest cost if the customer opts to repay the entire amount after a specified period beyond the specified period or the due date interest charges or penalty will have to be borne either the full amount along with interest can be paid in one shot after the due date or the due amount with the interest added can be converted into emis interest on the credit taken this way can be as high as 30% if you compare the zero cost emis with the buy now pay later schemes in the zero cost emis there are hidden interest cost in the form of the discount that you forego the buy now pay later schemes are more transparent and offer a interest free period which could range from 40 to 45 days but the interest is as high as 36% on the loan amount taken the loan amount in the sense the amount that you have to pay on the due date if you do not pay it at one shot and opt for emis instead then the interest as high as 36% would be charged on this amount the interest charges and the tenure vary widely depending on the tie up between the bank and lender or the merchant and the platform
This is the same for both zero cost EMIs and the buy now pay later schemes. FinSafe tip. If you are looking for temporary credit free period, you may opt for the buy now pay later scheme and make the full repayment before the due date. If you are looking to avail credit, then do the calculations, understand the interest or the extra amount that is being paid, read the terms and conditions carefully before you decide to opt for the scheme.